Hello my lovely students. Thank you for watching my previous presentation which was on singular noun and plural noun. And today's presentation is on pronoun that is lesson 6. So let's see what all we'll learn in pronoun means the content part. Number 1 what is pronoun? Number 2 personal pronoun. Number 3 possessive pronoun. Number 4 demonstrative pronoun and number 5th interrogative pronoun. So means in this presentation we will learn about pronouns and its various types with examples. So let's proceed and see. First of all we will know what is pronoun. A pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun. Now you all know now about noun. So what is noun? A noun is the name of person, place, animals or things. So the word which is used in place of a noun that is known as pronoun. Suppose in the picture it is given, the boy is given, the girl is given. Okay, I am giving the name of a boy Ram. Okay, so Ram is a boy. So here the pronoun which I have used in place of Ram is he. Okay, so he is a boy. Sita is a girl. So in place of Sita what we are giving? She. Okay, she is a pronoun word. And they is also a pronoun word. So the word which is used in place of a noun is called pronoun. Examples he is there, she is there, it is there, they is there. They, these are the various pronouns words. Now we will learn about different types of pronouns. So number one is personal pronoun. So personal pronoun is when we are describing about particular person, either object or the things also we can describe personally that we say personal pronoun. So I, we, my, are, he, she, it, they, you, them, us are called personal pronoun. Now you see in the image, okay, when the image it is given girl, okay, she is telling, suppose I am describing about myself, so what I will say, I am a teacher, okay. Then I will describe about you, you all are students, okay. Now see here boy is, boy is holding a ball, okay, so what he will describe, the ball it is used in, in place of ball, it is used. Okay, so it is a ball. He is a boy. She is used for girl. And see, so many boys and girls are there. So, all together, the pronoun used is we. So, these all are personal pronouns. Now, personal pronouns is also of various types. Now, in this slide, we will study about types of personal pronouns. So, the personal pronoun is of three types. Let's see. One is first person, second is second person and the third is third person. So, personal pronoun is of three types. First person, second person and third person. Now we'll describe about what all will come in first person. So first person includes the speaker or group, okay, about who is speaking. Singular will use I and my. For plural, we will use the pronoun word us, we, are. Now proceeding further to second person, what all we use? Refers to the second person, refers to the person being spoken to. Here it refers to the person is being spoken to. Singular will use you and plural also will use you. Next come the third person. What are the third person? Third person refers to person being spoken about. Okay. In singular will use he, she, it in third person and in plural will use they, their, them. Okay, so these all were types of personal 
pronoun. Now personal pronoun of further classified on the basis of gender and also on the basis of being subject or object and possession. Now gender you all have studied in the previous presentation means which describe about the noun which describe around whether it is male or female means masculine or feminine. Okay, so masculine we use for the male and feminine we use for the female. Okay, so that is known as gender. On the basis of that also personal pronoun is classified and on the basis of subject, object and possession also personal pronoun is classified. Now we will see one by one. The person is there. Now we have studied about first person, second person and third person. The three types of personal pronoun. Okay. Number one is subjective. If it is objective or object. And if it is possession or possessive. What all pronouns we will use. So first person singular. If first person singular is there. The subject will be I. Okay. Then it, the object if it is then it will be me and possession possessive means belonging ownership so it will be mine okay suppose this this pen is mine okay it belongs to me now second person singular and plural for both singular and plural second person the subject will be you the object will be also you and the possession will be yours. Proceeding further, first person plural. Okay. Before we have studied first person singular, now we will study first person plural. If the subject is there, we will use we. Plural it is. Object is there, we will use us. And possession is there, we will use are. Next is third person singular male. Okay, gender now it's come male. So what we'll use? If subject, then he we will use. Object, we will use him. And possession, we will use his. Next comes the third person singular female. Means feminine. We will use she, subject. If object is there, we will use her possession. Possessive means we will use hers. Next come third person singular things. If thing is there, okay, we will use subject it, object also it and possession its for the thing we will use. Next comes the third person plural for things and persons. Okay, when the third person plural is there. So, what we will use? Subject, they, object if it is there, them and possession we will use theirs. Okay, this were the various types of personal pronoun classifying classifying about on the basis of gender on the basis of subject object and possession next comes another type of pronoun that is possessive pronoun okay possessive pronoun that shows belonging are called possessive or pronoun in previous slide also possessive or possession you have studied so means belonging suppose in the image it is given the boy is pointing to the girl. That is her book. Okay. So, here the possessive pronoun is describing about whose book is that? That is her book. Okay. Belonging to her. Now, he is describing about his bicycle. This bicycle is mine. Okay. So, a pronoun indicating possession. For example, mine, yours, hers, theirs. These are the possessive pronoun. On the right side we see possessive pronoun. One more definition is given. Possessive pronoun is a pronoun that is used to indicate possession or ownership. Means belonging. The suppose example it is given. This pen 
is my pen not your pen so when it is changed into possessive pronoun what it is used this pen is instead of my pen the pronoun which is used is mine okay so mine is possessive pronoun your pen what it is used yours means it belongs to your pen the pen is your and this pen is mine so these are the possessive pronoun now we have described before also uh, in the previous slide about subject and object now you see sam hit paul so who hit sam is the person who is hitting the ball paul so sam is the subject and to whom he is hitting he is hitting to the paul okay so paul is the object so this were the examples and definition of possessive pronoun next types come the demonstrative pronoun now sometimes pointer words like this these those and that may be used for pronoun to point out noun and these words are called possessive pronoun in the example you see in the picture this is my book the boy is pointing to the book means he is pointing to one book singular that is this is my book in plural if it is pointing this will change into these so these he is pointing to so many books so what he has used the word these okay so these are my books okay so here the books is also noun so he is describing about the noun okay next is that is my friend he is describing about the friend pointing towards his friend okay now so many friends is there he is pointing about so many friends so what he has used those okay so the pointing words which are this these that those are called demonstrative pronouns next is the interrogative pronouns okay interrogative pronouns often stands for something that we are not aware of yet means we don't know about the answer because we are asking about it we use these pronouns specially to ask questions now these pronouns are special because they all start with were which makes them easy remember like what who which whom what these all are words asking about some questions okay we don't know about the answers so that type of pronoun is known as the interrogative pronoun in the left side you see whose book are you reading so here whose is interrogative pronoun which car are you driving so he don't know which car he is driving okay so which is here interrogative pronoun what color is this flower okay so here what is interrogative pronoun thank you for watching my presentation